Hi guys, it's Gav here from DancePanic.tv. I'm here to give my predictions for day 13 of the World Starts Championship, which is Friday the 28th of December from the Alley Pally. We've got two sessions again today. Both sessions have three fourth round matches and they're all the best of seven sets. The afternoon session is from 12.30 and the evening session is from 7pm and they're all live on Sky Sports. I hope that you all had an amazing Christmas. I felt a little bit ropey. I've been to the Alley Pally twice but I'm back on full form now and smiling from ear to ear. Unfortunately, I'm not there today due to unforeseen uh, circumstances. I'm absolutely gutted but it is what it is. I've been lucky enough to go. Um, the championship so far, so many shocks, incidents, Players, not all of them happy with the 96 format. Darts fan, I love it. I'm sure that many of you darts fans do too. We're getting to see the quality um, from other countries and some of it has been absolutely amazing. First up, let's have a look at the afternoon session from 12.30. We've got Nathan Aspinall against Devin Peterson, Benito van der Paz against Brendan Dolan and Ryan Joyce against James Wade. This evening session from 7pm sees Ryan Searle against Michael Smith, Jamie Lewis against Dave Chisnell and Rob Cross against Luke Humphreys. Lots of names I never in a million years thought I would be calling out for round four. I wonder what some of the odds would be like in this one. Um, and also to think that even Nathan Aspinall, Devin Peterson, Benito van der Prez or Brendan Dolan are going to be in the World Starts Championship semi-final. So first up, let's have a look. It is uh, this afternoon. It's Nathan Aspinall against Devin Peterson. As you know, I've been cheering Devin on and been going as his guest. Let's have a look how they got to this round. First up, Nathan Aspinall beat Gert Nitschies 3-0 with an 88.42 average. He then beat Gerwin the Iceman Price 3-2 with a 92.28 average. Many of us did not see that one coming. And then Carl Anderson 4-1 with a 96.17 average. Meanwhile, Devin Peterson, he got through round one against Wayne Jones 3-2. Uh, two sets to nil up. Wayne brought it back to 2 all. Both had match starts to win it, but Devin did scrape through with an 84.79 average. He then went on to beat Ian White 3-2 after being two sets to nil down and had a 94.68 average. And then just yesterday, beating simply Steve West 4-2 with a 92.65 average. Really, really close one to call this. I've been supporting Devin, become a good friend of his, and I've got to tip him in a really close match. But I'm putting Devin to beat Nathan today and go through to the quarterfinals of the Worlds for Three. Uh, next up, we have Benito van der Paz against the history maker Brendan Dolan. Uh, Benito had to, um, didn't have to play a round one match as he was seeded, but in round two, he was up against Jim Long. Didn't know much about him. Jim had match darts to put Benito out. Benito, Benito did get over the line and beat him 3-2, but with just an 86.62 average. Then yesterday, I watched his match in round three against Tony Alcinas, who put Peter Wright out. 4-2, uh, again, only an 85.61 average. Really scrappy match. There were so many darts missed. Some were way off. But it was great to see Benito, um, after the year, 18 months he's had, getting back to winning ways. He's up against Brendan Dolan, who, uh, first of all, had to beat Lou 3-0 with an 86.63 average. Then he got past Joe Cullen. None of us see that coming. 3-0, 92.72 average from in that one. And then he beat Mervyn King 4-2 with a 95.73 average. Uh, Brendan needed that to keep his tour card. His stats seem to be going up. Um, playing very well here at the Worlds. He's going to have too much today for Benito. And I'm going for Brendan to win for two. Next up, we've got Ryan Joyce against James Wade. What a lovely guy uh, Ryan Joyce is. I was speaking to him at the Alley Pally. He is just so, so chilled out. Um, he, first of all, had that tricky match up against Anastasia. No problem there. Went through 3-0, a 90.34 average. Then it was Simon Whitlock. None of us see this one coming. Put him aside, 3-0 with a 90.4 average. Then he was in that tussle with Alan Norris. Managed to come through, 4-3, but with just an 87.74 average. But like Ryan said, all that matter is winning. Uh, James Wade coming up round two. He was in that um, that match with all the incident going on with Sego Azada. I did cover a video on it. He did manage to just cross the line. 3-2 uh, with a 93.57 average. Next round, he had uh, Keegan Brown. Beat Keegan 4-3 three, at a 94.71 average. More like the James Wade, we all know. More gracious, put up with loads of antics from Keegan Brown on the stage, uh, taking an eternity um, to take his darts out the board. I think I could have got a cup of tea in the time he was doing some of them, but... 
thought he handled it really well and went through. However, Ryan Joyce, like I say, has to be one of the most laid back guys I've ever seen. He's got nothing to lose. I think that he's going to beat James Wade today uh, for free. We then come on to the evening session from 7pm. We've got Ryan Searle against Michael Smith. Ryan Searle, first round, beat Stephen Burton 3-0 with an 87.82 average. He then beat Mencha Silovic. None of us see that one coming. 3-1, uh, he beats uh, Mensa with a 90.66 average. And then he beat a really out of sorts, William O'Connor, 4-1 with just an 89.4 average. Meanwhile, Michael Smith coming in at round two. First up, he had to beat Ron Millenkamp, which he did 3-1 with a 90 point, uh, 94.07 average. And then in yesterday's game against Hendo, what an epic it was. Hendo two sets to one up at one point. A couple of times, Smith, to get himself out of jail, had to pull uh, five straight legs on a row, which he did. Ended up with 100.47 average and beating Hendo 4-2. I think this is going to be a great match. Again, Ryan's got nothing to lose in this. But I think Bully Boy is going to have too much and he's going to beat Ryan Sale today. Four sets to three. Next up, we've got Jamie Lewis against Dave Chisnell. Jamie Lewis, as we all know, uh, stormed into the semi-finals of the Worlds last year. He beat Cody Harris in round two with a 92.32 average. Uh, that was 3-2, like I say. And then he beat Daryl Gurney 4-3 with a 93.94 average. I thought Daryl was going to do really well in the Worlds, go on a little run, especially after um, his success in the recent tournament. But he didn't, and Jamie Lewis held it together and got over uh, the line after having a good lead in that one. Meanwhile, Dave Chisnell, uh, round two against Josh Payne, two sets to nil down at one point, managed to turn the game around, turn it on its head, come back to beat Josh 3-2 with a 95.58 average. And then round three, he beat Kim Hybrex 4-0 with a 97.6 average. I think that Chiz is going to have too much for Jamie Lewis today, and he's going to beat him four sets to two. And last but not least, we have the current world champ, Rob Cross, against Cool Hands, uh, Luke Humphreys. Um, for opening game, many of us were right, and Rob Cross, including me, had been one of his doubters, especially over recent months, but he seemed to be playing really well. Starting slow, mind you, but playing some really good darts that shows why he's world champ. He put the zone aside, 3-1. Had 102.93 average. Then he was up against Christo Reyes. Christo Reyes didn't turn up at all. Uh, he brushed him aside quite easily. 4-0 with 101.72 average. So two free dart averages over 100 there for Cross in the first couple of rounds. Luke Humphreys uh, in the first round. He beat Adam Hunt 3-0 with a 97.58. He then beat the Bullet Stephen Bunton 3-1 with a 95.56. Um... I didn't think he'd probably get through that one. He did. He is looking the real deal. And then obviously yesterday, beating Dimitri Vandenberg, who I thought was going to win, put him aside 4-1 and had issues with his elbow at the same time. Not such a great average, 89.64. Luke come out. He said he'll be more prepared today. Going to have a bit of a massage on his elbow. Um, and he's going to be ready to take on the world champ. I think this is going to be an absolute uh, brilliant match. High scoring. But I think that Rob Cross is showing his colours and putting all the doubters to side, like I say, including me. And he's showing his colours as the champ. And he's going to beat Luke today for free. So there you have it, guys. These are all my predictions for day 13 of the World Starts Championship in the Alley Pally. I hope that you all have an amazing day. You enjoy it. Please let me know your predictions as always below. Please, please hit that like button. And remember to turn on the not notification bell. If that's not on, you don't get notified when the new video is out. And most of all, please, please hit the subscribe button. I'll be back tomorrow for more predictions. Um, it is literally about 20 minutes till the, uh, the actual diet start. So I'm going to go in, grab a bite to eat, have a milk coffee, <laughs> and, and just chill out for the rest of the day. I'll catch you all tomorrow, guys. Bye.